Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to get a video out to you guys today talking about ones to watch cards and trading with them. Basically, everything you need to know about ones to watch, trading, about the cards, best way to keep track of the scores, etc. So, we're going to talk about a lot of that stuff today. There's a lot of planning and a lot of real life performance and real life um, game planning and stuff that you can look into with these cards. If you're really knowledgeable about IRL football, or soccer as some people call it, here in my country, the US, um, you can be really knowledgeable about these cards and maybe have a step ahead of some people on this game with these ones to watch cards. So again, if you guys don't know the premise about these cards, they dropped today in FIFA Ultimate Team. It is a team of 23 cards chosen by EA Sports that are new transfers to new clubs, either on loan or with a permanent a permanent transfer to a new club during the summer transfer window of 2019 and basically these cards are live items whenever a card gets an inform this card will upgrade with it um, and I think there are some special rules with like what other cards it could be I think basically every, almost any card besides like a team of the year or a team of the season or a, a card like that would make this upgrade so last year we saw uh, basically, it's the same rules as last year. So we saw some different types of cards come onto the game. That should upgrade these cards this year as well. Uh, so that is something that we can look out for this year. But this is the squad of 23 players. EA actually released it to us um, on Tuesday, on the pre-order access day. They released the entire squad to us early, which is something new that they have never really done before. That was very interesting. Uh, and that was nice to see, honestly. It helped us plan ahead a little bit more and to know what cards we were going to see in ones to watch but the big thing about these cards is last year we didn't see a lot of trading with this back to FIFA 18 if you go back to them that time frame we did because these cards were a lot more hype last year we didn't see a lot of trading around these cards because only a couple of them were really they really fluctuated week to week because they were actually playing well in real life this year it looks like we have a lot better players a lot better attackers at least in my mind uh, and just Better player selection in general in terms of what cards we should see move on a weekly basis, um, which I'm excited to watch and I'm excited to uh, be in touch with. Um, but the weekly fluctuations with these cards, and it makes sense, right? These cards are usually the cheapest right after their game. They get sold after a game. They don't perform well. They don't have an inform worthy performance in the eyes of most people. And those cards go down in price because people, these cards basically rise up and they're highest during game time when that player is playing or they drop down below uh, after the game when the player is not playing, doesn't have an inform worthy for performance. So it's all about real life performances with these cards and that's what makes trading with these cards so much fun. As you can see here, I'm bidding on a Pablo Sarabia. This is the first night these cards are in packs. Some of these cards actually play today when this video goes live. There are some cards that have games today that you can look at and possibly are rising into that game time uh, scenario before they actually play. That's why I'm bidding on Pablo Sarabi because PSG plays today uh, and that uh, I already got a massive lazy buyer on a Sarabi as well. I bought one for 15k listed at 28. Always list your cards for lazy buyers by the way. Got it to sell for 28,000 coins. Very lucky in my opinion but still pretty dope. A lot of these cards I'm getting outbid on. I don't really want to pay much more than 15,000 but I, was, I still want to start talking about why I like that card. I like Pablo Sarabi because he is on PSG. We're going to flip back over here uh, and be looking at some of these websites. I made a video about a week back called the best apps and websites to use with FIFA Ultimate Team. I would definitely revisit that video if you have not seen it because these two websites, they also have mobile apps. Uh, this is SofaScore right here. This website is great. Uh, for setting up notifications for players on your phone. So the most important thing with these ones to watch cards is when they score a goal or do something good in the game, let's say it's mostly around scoring a goal or getting an assist, um, these cards will rocket in price because people will get on the game, they will buy these cards because they think that they're gonna have an increased possibility for an inform in that next team of the week, which would then boost that card up, boost that card's value, 
and everything. So that makes those cards rise in price. So if you have notifications turned on for each player in the ones to watch team, which is what I'm going to be setting up tonight on my phone. There's an there's an app on the Sofa Score app on or there's notifications on the Sofa Score app on your mobile devices that you can look at and see it'll alert you very quickly after a goal happens in real life you'll have an opportunity to go on your companion app after that get on the market maybe buy a player if that's something uh, that interests you and just have the opportunity to invest in that player right away maybe make a quick flip out of it or whatever so that's a big thing with this website SofaScore and then I use this website right here it's called whoscore.com I use this a lot for research so you can really look there's a lot of in-depth uh, so like I can look up Sarabia right here as I searched him before I can look up Sarabia it will pull up Pablo Sarabia right here I'm gonna click on him and you can look up his fixtures and his match history and see how he has been playing recently you can see recently here he played they played Real Madrid in Champions League he played 89 minutes had a match rating of 6.85 played against Reims or Rhymes how do you say that in the League One uh, and got a 6.2 match rating but the interesting thing about this is you can't just look at the card you have to look at the team situation too this is why I like Pablo Sarabia for today's game I think they play against Bordeaux yeah they play Bordeaux uh, on the 28th and you want to preview this match this is a really cool thing that this website does it gives you a, a match preview kind of shows you how the teams are doing PSG is in first place in the standings Bordeaux is in fifth but if you look at this is the projected lineup, it has Sarabia in here. His match rating isn't isn't that high, but he's getting playing time because look at this on the bench. Some guys that maybe compete with him for a spot on the team would be Draxler, maybe Mbappe, Icardi, Cavani. Those guys are doubtful or out, especially Draxler being out for me. Makes me think that Sarabia is definitely going to be getting playing time tomorrow. And on a PSG team that just runs through League 1, I know they're not doing fantastic this year, at least uh, by any sort of, like, some Neymar goals have saved them at the end is basically what I've been seeing. Sarabia is getting playing time, and when you're getting playing time in a club like PSG, I mean, he's bound to have a good game at some point. So I like this card. I like this card at, what is it, like 15, 16,000 coins because it's very cheap. And if he gets an inform upgrade, he's going to go to an 85 rated. It's going to put this card on a lot of people's maps. I mean, he's already a pretty good card. Four star, four star. He's got good stats. But this is what you look for in a ones to watch, you know? This is what you look for in a ones to watch card. You look for a guy that's going to be playing consistently. Uh, going back to this ones to watch team, somebody who is maybe not playing the most consistently right now. Um, I'm not too sure about Pulisic. I don't think he's been getting a ton of game time. I don't watch a lot of Chelsea games. You Chelsea fans will know better than I would about him. But Lozano is somebody who I would be high on. He's been starting a lot against Mer with Mertens in a two-striker formation. Uh, Brandt has been playing a good amount as well. Even Thorgan Hazard has been playing a decent amount for, for Dortmund as well. So um, this is something that I can see as a... A possible good investment you what you really have to pay attention to the IRL game, uh, games and standings for these cards that makes it the most important um, when investing in these ones to watch cards so again at least right now I don't know if it's it's smart to invest in these cards right away the there's always in the first week of ones to watch uh, in the first couple days of this ones to watch promo when they first come out like they just came out today there's always a couple cards that have a good weekend that first weekend. Um, I'm looking at Brandt right now, 60,000 coins. You know, I've been looking at um, Sarabia. It's never guaranteed who's gonna have a good weekend, but that's why you turn those notifications on. If you're somebody who likes to quick flip these cards and maybe make a quick coin from them, that's a way that you can do it. Um, but yeah, once the watches are very fun to trade with, it's very, very fast paced. And you have to know their prices and you have to be very quick with things. It's all about either buying before the game and holding and selling during the game or buying after they lose or after they have a not so good game and then selling the next week when they have a good game. So that's the kind of once to watch trading that we had seen in the past with um, maybe guys like Salah from FIFA 18. So let's say Brandt plays this weekend. Dortmund plays tomorrow against Werder Bremen. Let's say post-game he is 50,000 coins. So he drops about 10,000 coins. You pick one up. Next week before their game, he plays and he, he scores whatever. Um, and he, he maybe scores a goal and he goes up to 80,000 coins in that game. Boom, you just made 30,000 coins a card. That's the draw to these once-to-watch cards because they can flip so quickly. They can be such a good 
flip and they can double the price, maybe even triple in price with the hype of getting an inform, especially early on. Uh, with these with these ones to watch cards and real life performances and it's just fun to have real life performances tied in with FIFA uh, and the experience that you have on FIFA Ultimate Team. So some cards I wanted to look through this list with you guys really quick and kind of talk about some things as well. I would wait to really start to look into the fluctuations of these cards until after they go out of packs. Um, they're in packs for 10 days. That's one other thing that I wanted to note. These cards are in packs for 10 days. You can see at the bottom of your screen there. The dynamic wants to watch player items are available in packs for nine days, 20 or 13 hours. So 10 days total. They came in packs Friday. So that means I think they're going to go out of packs on what Sunday night or Monday, Monday at 6 PM UK of the next week, not this coming Monday, but the next week I think would be when they go out of packs. So they're in not in packs for a week, they're in packs for 10 days, which is interesting because that encompasses two different game weekends. So they'll have a game this weekend and a game next weekend as well. And I think there's actually some UCL games that are going to be happening this next uh, in the midweek. So there possibly could be three games where some of these cards have an opportunity to rise in price. So again, get those alerts signed up on SofaScore, download that app. It's the same. It looks like this on your mobile device. So download that app and take a look at that. But I would steer clear of really investing in a lot of these cards right away uh, because they're still in packs. We have the first ever Division Rivals rewards that will be, not the first ever, the second set of for Division Rivals rewards that will be coming out during this Once to Watch promo. We'll have Squad Battle rewards. We'll have more packs being opened. They're in packs for 10 days. So there's a lot of opportunity for these card prices to drop some more. But some of these prices seem pretty decent to me as well. That's why I got the Sarabia, the Ben Yedder at 100k earlier today was kind of low uh, and stuff like that. So these cards are going to be very interesting to watch. Uh, and again, as their impacts, you can definitely watch their fluctuations, but I would be careful right away investing in those cards. Um, just because there's going to be, they're still impacts and I'm still leery. I'm always leery about stuff when it's still impacts. I'm always kind of like, okay, is this really a good buy? Is this not? Uh, like somebody, like right now, right now these wants to watch cards don't have a ton of appeal to them except they're live. Wants to watch Hazard right now, 900,000 coins. You can buy regular Hazard for like 500,000 coins and it's the exact same card. But this is the live item, has the opportunity to get upgraded. It's cool colors and everything else. So that's the draw to these cards right now at the moment. But I wanted to get on a video today and talk to you guys and just kind of inform you like about wants to watch cards and how you can trade with them. Again, the most popular way to, tr to trade with them is buy them after a game where they don't have a good performance, hold them throughout the next week until their next game. Maybe it's only, maybe they have a midweek game. You only have to hold them for three days. Then you can sell that card leading up into that pregame hype, maybe get some money there, or you can take the risk and hold on to that card and possibly make yourself a ton of coins if that player has a big time game. And that's what you're hoping for with these cards, with these once watches. If that player scores a goal, shoots up in price, and you're able to sell it. Um, and there's some also some advanced trading methods with these cards. Once they do score a goal and they're they're projected to get an informed performance, there's some panic selling after the game too. So we'll talk about that when that situation arises as well with these cards at some point during the year. But I wanted to, again, bring this video to you guys today talking about trading with ones to watch cards, their fluctuations, and just kind of a all about ones to watch video. I especially wanted to talk about, again, those two websites that I mentioned before too, uh, because those are very, very useful and very, very handy for you guys in terms of ones to watch investing and ones to watch trading and just keeping track of those ones to watch cards. But again, this is so fun because it just, it intertwines IRL football slash soccer and FIFA. And that's just the most fun part about this stuff. I love once to watch trading. I did it a ton in FIFA 18, not as much in FIFA 19. Hopefully this year, out of this selection, there's a lot of guys that score goals, a lot of guys that have good games that make this interesting. And that just means the ability to make more coins on our side of things as well. So again, if you're hyped for once to watch, uh, smash a thumbs up on this video, comment down below if you have any questions about these cards or their fluctuations or anything about that. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.